What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two recipes that are just like, again, warm and cozy again this time of year. I think that's what we all kind of want is just some cozy, comfort, indulgent, maybe kind of sort of comfort food. And so I'm going to show you my chicken Alfredo recipe. I, this was like a hit in my house. This is the first time I made it like this. And I think I'm probably going to make it like this all the time now. It has, I'll warn you now, it has some weird ingredients. And now as I'm making it, you're probably going to be like, uh -huh. no way am I going to try that, but I promise you it's delicious. I loved it. My stepdaughter was like pounding it. And even my husband liked it, even though there's stuff in it that he says he doesn't like. So take note of that. And the second recipe is an apple pie that we're going to make together. We technically haven't made it yet. We're going to be making it in about an hour. So we'll see how it goes. We're going to make some apple pie, put on some ice cream and some caramel syrup, I think. So if you're interested in those, stick around, see how we make them. If you would give that video a thumbs up, is that my thing now? When I give a thumbs up, just like thumbs up and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And I hope you and your family enjoy these recipes. Okay, everyone, before I show you, I'm getting ready to make the chicken Alfredo. And before I flip you around and show it to you, um, I am cold. So I'm going to go put on a long sleeve shirt. Um, I know, but getting back to the Alfredo, some of these ingredients I'm going to show you, you're going to be like, no, 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 there's no way that I promise you these are delicious. I have taken what I've seen people do in different recipes and have kind of like mod podge them together to make what I think is like awesome Alfredo. Um, you just have to trust me. You just have to trust me and roll with it, okay? So I'm gonna flip you around, show you the ingredients and we're gonna start getting it together. First thing I'm gonna do before we kind of even like get started is we like to roast a broccoli and put it into our Alfredo. So I'm gonna kind of chop this up, put just some extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder on it, heat the oven up to 375, roast that for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes until it's done. Chicken Alfredo, we obviously need chicken. I have been just marinating this all day in some of the like zesty Italian dressing. And we obviously need noodles. If you watch my Aldi haul, um, they didn't have fettuccine, but honestly, I like linguine kind of better. It's a touch smaller, but I love linguine and I will just use it all the time now. Okay, Alfredo sauce components. I know you're looking at this going like, what the heck? We have regular culprits, right? Extra virgin olive oil, butter, just a shake or two of crushed red pepper. Not enough to make it spicy, but just enough to kind of like round out the flavor. And that's kind of the same, whoops, uh, with the apple cider vinegar. I know y'all are like, you've lost your mind, but just a splash of this just gives it like a background tang that is delicious. And that kind of is the same with the Italian dressing. This is the same one that I marinated the chicken in. So it just kind of all goes together. We of course need a ton of garlic. And by ton, I mean like just three or four cloves just a dash or two of hot sauce again it does not make it spicy but just kind of rounds out the um flavor profile profile um <laughs> i'm sorry my accent guys i don't even know where i came from um you will need some heavy whipping cream or heavy cream or like at least two percent milk to make it um uh, i know you're shocked a recipe with sour cream um we're gonna put in a little sour cream and then i like to take my cheap parmesan and my like medium grade parmesan and i put a bunch of those in i also put in a tiny bit of mozzarella cheese just to kind of uh, make it a little thicker and cheesier. And then I also put in some black pepper at the very end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and deal with the broccoli, get a pot of water on, and we're going to make some. All right, guys, let's get to cooking. <laughs> you can see right here, I'm cutting about half a head of that broccoli up. I'm just slicing it into teeny, teeny, tiny bite-sized pieces, putting it on a sheet pan, making sure they're small so they kind of cook up nice and fast, drizzling with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and then some garlic powder, just tossing it and throwing it into the oven. And then for the sauce, just a couple tablespoons of olive oil, about a tablespoon or two of butter goes in. Get that all nice and warm and melted. And then just grating some garlic in there or chopping some garlic and adding it. You wanna make sure this is kind of on a medium low slash low temp because you do not want the garlic to burn. When the garlic starts to burn, that's when it gets bitter. And that's when people say they don't like garlic because it's normally overcooked. And then I just did a few shakes of the red pepper so that that can start to get infused into the oil and butter. Also, throwing the linguine in the pot and just getting that going. That's the good thing about the sauce, guys. It literally takes just as long as it takes the noodles to cook. So you saw about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, maybe about three tablespoons to four tablespoons of the zesty Italian dressing going into the sauce just kind of cooking that out and mingling it all together adding the cream I put it together I didn't think it was enough that wasn't a full carton of cream uh, that I started with so 
So you'll see right here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of 2% uh, milk to kind of just stretch it a little there. A few dashes of hot sauce going in. Again, not enough to make it spicy, but it just kind of rounds out the flavor of everything. And then I just kind of let that heat through, add in maybe about two big tablespoons of sour cream, get it incorporated, and you can see I'm adding just a little bit of my crappy farm, and then I'm gonna add some of my less crappy farm, <laughs> and just a small handful of mozzarella just to make it kind of extra cheesy. Reserving some pasta water on the side, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drain my noodles. Draining, 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 coming back and just tossing the pasta with the sauce. I know it looks like a lot of sauce, but by the time this is all said and done, uh, and when I add in the chicken and the broccoli, like how I'm doing right here, it ended up being the perfect amount of sauce. And then we did have leftovers, but I just stored it with a little bit of that leftover pasta water, and it was delicious. And you can see, this is the final product. Like I said, everybody absolutely loved it. Okay, David Ross, what time is it? It's pie time. Pie time. We're going to make apple pie. Okay. Kind of from scratch. We're not doing homemade crust. Because, you know, we got to start somewhere. Um... How about, How about you move over here on this side? You start peeling. With what? Uh, 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 <laughs> how do they start? A vegetable peeler? Do we use the apple cutter and like get them into slices first? No, that's what I'll do. You'll peel, I'll slice because how are you going to peel it if it's already sliced? Where's the peeler? See, I should have done this one. I, just, I feel like I just used it. Just, just hang on one second. We will end this out. Will we? Yeah. I swear to God, I just used it. Ah Are those the same blue things? Okay, they're different blue spoons. I didn't even know we had those blue spoons. I didn't know we did either. All the stuff gets me. Go to town! Where do the peels go? Just put them on the counter for now. I'll drag the garbage can over and we can just toss it in there. And then just put them on this cutting board. And I will slice them up and put them in the bowl. So you don't want to use the apple slicer? No, because they need to be a lot thinner than that. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. It doesn't have to be perfect either. You can just like, you waste a little, yeah, that's fine. I don't, like that. I'm gonna make a major turn there. Got it. Don't be afraid to like, and then I'm just gonna. I'm afraid of my fingers. Well, be careful. Okay, so we're gonna keep peeling. I'm gonna keep slicing, and then we'll come back. Okay, David Ross. Oh, I'm so close to it. You're fine. What is your favorite kind of pie? Uh, key lime. Key lime. What's your okay? What's your favorite fruit pie? Is key lime out of fruits? I mean, it is a fruit, but it's not like, like, you know what I mean. It's an apple. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I think technically mine is either, I like coconut cream pie. But no, 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 I wasn't done. I wouldn't say that that was like what I'm talking about though either. I think apple pie would probably be my favorite, like, in the sense of like a fruit pie too. Mm. Um, what if this pie is like so good? What do you start your own pie business? Never. Never. Because making you feel that your heart is not my heart is not in making pie. But what if this is the moment that like changes? You have watched far too many Hallmark movies. <laughs> what if we like this pie is like the best pie you ever had in your life, though, and it's like life changing, and you're like, I'm gonna share this with the world. Sure. Sure. No. Okay. I'm already like over peeling apples so. up. You're doing good. is now essentially the David Rush show. Mm. I'm gonna eat one more apple though. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what to put in here. Literally, you just throw it in and kind of mix it in. Got it. Got it. Two thirds of a cup of sugar. Two of these. While you do that, I'm gonna break. Ah! Oh, sugar, sugar. Oh, what a song. We played that one. At our wedding. At our wedding. Was that like to the top? Yeah. Was it? Yes. Or did you do your like skimpy thing? <laughs> it was to the top. It was literally like that. Like I that like see room. Oh this is baking. Yeah. Oh and my I followed God. it to the tea. Okay, just, we're done with that then. Stir that around. When you do that, I'm going to get the pie crust and say a prayer. <laughs> I love you. Yep. Okay. Pretty good.
go. All right, right, right. Mm -hmm. That's coated. Two tablespoons of flour. That was beautiful. Is that how that's supposed to be done? Yeah, like level to the top. What a man. Sugar. Okay, and now half of a teaspoon of salt. Our oven isn't preheated yet, but it is preheated to 425. Um, two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. This is actually the original recipe was less cinnamon, but then I found one for more cinnamon and we like cinnamon, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the one that has more. I'll leave the recipe in the, um, that section in the bottom. <laughs> uh, but like cinnamon and stuff, you can do that in nutmeg, you can do to taste. I think we need more cinnamon. Oh, really? Or is it just hard in it? Just, it's like, just take a knife in. Yeah, no, it's not hard. It's just like. And a half. Did you do a half I'm too? I'm getting the half now. Oh, I didn't know you were like doing it precisely. I thought you were going to do like half of one of. Beautiful. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. See, this is coming in together pretty fast, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Wonderful. And then half of the juice of a lemon. Come on. Are you using that thing? Or are you using Why a fork? Why not use the thing that we have? I feel like strictly it's, for this purpose. I feel like it doesn't work as good as are sticking. You a, me? No, I'm not kidding you. I feel like sticking a, a fork in it. This thing is literally made for it. I feel like when you jab a fork into it and like grind it up in there, it works better. Don't get a lot of the seeds seeds in it. Oh dang! That was a lot of juice. Yeah. See. <laughs> okay, we're good. I apologize. You're right. You're right. Did you hear that? I'm right. I love you so much. Okay, and then we're just gonna mix, go to town, mix that, get that all jazzed up. It smells good. It smells like in the inside of apple lemon. pie. All I it smells lemon. Really, I feel like I smell all the cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff. Can I taste an apple like that, or will it taste like garbage? No, oh, of course it'll be delicious, but you have to wait. <sighs> the recipe that we're using too, I said I like mosh podged a couple together. Um, we used the recipe with a tad less sugar in it. Like, most recipes call for three-fourths of a cup. We only did two-thirds. So just, like, a touch less than all. Okay, I think that's pretty good, right? Health. Shut up. Yeah. Okay, pie crusts. Open the box. We'll do this over here, because we can see it better. <gasps> Tying. There's two in there, right? Yeah, there's another one in here. Yep, okay. I just got scared for a minute, because we got to do a top crust, too. I mean, that's good. Pie crusts. Not... <laughs> you can find this in the refrigerator section. <laughs> okay, be gentle. Don't break it. Don't tear I it. Broke it. Did you really? Yep, twice. <laughs> Be careful. Hey, the whole, I use the other no, one? no, because we're gonna use both. It's fine. Just it's because I just took it out of the refrigerator and I probably should have let it sit out for a little bit. We'll just kind of like. Are you sure? Yes, because we got to use both anyway. Right. So this could be the top because the top. Oh no! You right. hide the like holes. We're not gonna carve holes in it. We're gonna like slice just a few. We don't want like gapping holes in the top. Okay. We're not gonna do our own lattice work. <laughs> are you? Who are you right now? Are you gonna do lattice work? <laughs> I guess not. If you're not going to. This is a big pie. Okay, kind of squeeze that together. Can I make sure it's like... Yes, while you do that, I'm going to go get our egg for the top. Right. Okay. Um, go ahead and dump all the apples in. I'm going to do something crazy and put this in the microwave for like five seconds to see if that'll help. Ew, don't look at that. <laughs> yeah? No, that's, I promise you, that's I not too many. You're right, you're David and I had a legit conversation about like, people think this seems like too many apples, but you know, if you make apple pie, all the apples cook down and they kind of sink. So it's okay if it kind of like mounds over. Is the second one, sir. Try and be gentle. I know you got like these big meat claws. Big meaty claws. Mmm. It's like cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> And then we gotta kind of just like seal the bottom kind of to the top. I would get it sealed first and then like worry about if we wanna make it pretty. <laughs> I'm, I think that this might not look like the best pie, but I think it's gonna taste pretty good. Took my husband made it. That is not. Did you hear? Oh, you <laughs> like that apple that I just snagged right there tasted delicious. Well, yeah, it's pure sugar and <laughs> Little touch of water for our egg. Looks like a mince pie. I feel like, why did you tuck it in so far? I don't know, because that's, <laughs> that's how the kids are doing it. Okay, we should carve a couple slits. No, we got an egg wash first. Egg wash. Oh gosh. Give me a fork, too. 
What? Nothing. What? It didn't just flash all over the place. That's fine. I feel like people should not be shocked that that one of us is an extra messy cup. Alright, that brush thing? Yeah! Now just the brush it all around. Watch, I'm making fun of the way this looks right, right now. But watch it come out and be like the most beautiful pie anybody has ever seen. <laughs> I feel like it looks like a pie that has a bomb in it in a cartoon or something like that. <laughs> That's like exactly what it like, looks like. I'm not hiding anything. You're not hiding it right. That's how I make pies. Because they're the bomb. Womp, womp, womp. My God, stop. Okay. Follow me for more dad jokes. Oh my God. Did you get like... Get in there. We are, we're not going to use all of that, Do you obviously. Really see how much it's, it's like cake. No, in. that's like... Okay, I think we're good. Are we good? Like, are we good? I'm just much. making sure. Okay, we should do slits, right? Mm -hmm. Should we do what, like four? Like one, two, three, four? No, you gotta get like through the dough, that's the point. Yeah. That's not even the middle of the pie. <laughs> it sure is the middle of the pie. It's not the, the middle of the pie is like over no here. No that's the middle it of the pie. It's not the middle of the pie. That is, that's it's fine, it's fine. Let's put it in the oven. <laughs> okay, oven is at 425. We're gonna go ahead and stick it in on the top rack there. Oh, you left the pizza pan. No, I left it in there on purpose in case if it drips. Oh. So we're gonna bake our for 20 minutes. Take her out tin foil the sides. Because remember the pecan pie from last Thanksgiving? No. Do you remember how burnt the crust was? Because no. I didn't tin foil oh, yeah. the sides. Yeah. So 20 minutes, tin foil the sides, bake it for another 20 minutes. Cool? You're on. Her pie looks good, right? It does. It smells good. It smells really good. You can tell we put a lot of cinnamon in it. Cinnamon. 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 Uh, does that look like the middle of the pie? Right in the middle, guys. <laughs> that is right not in the, the middle. middle. Yeah, are you blind? Look at that. Oh, she ruined it. How, how well you're supposed to cut it. Look no, people aren't going to tell you, but you want a very bulbous, cartoony looking <laughs> crust on top. It's still like smoking, smoking, steaming. There you go. Okay, it's, it's like we don't have a pie, <laughs> pie scoop, so we're gonna use our offset spatula, like classy people. Oh no, can she do it? Look at that pie. Hey, look, not too shabby. Look at, do you see it steaming? I don't mm -hmm. know if you can, but it looks good. It smells good. Oh, yes, I'm excited, David. I, I'm like, it is so cinnamony, but so good. Just from like, okay. You know oh, a la mode. Right? Side or on top? Oh, on the side, please. And do you want <laughs> what? What? So you got like the whole half gallon or whatever in there. Okay. And yours. I didn't. Like... I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you to give me more. I was just like, you get this little meatball shape. And I'm gonna get this mamma jamma. Do you want caramel? No, thank you. Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you see that plop down? <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. She fit this into her macros today. <laughs> Put you right in the where it counts. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna taste. Do I just taste the pie by itself, or do I taste it with ice cream? Uh, well, you gotta taste the pie first, right? Just by itself? Yeah. We're testing the pie, not ice cream. David, it's like really good. Yeah. It's like really good. You taste it. Mm. Yeah, that's good pie. Right? That's good pie. High five. That's why we married each other. Yes, for my <laughs> ability to follow directions and make pie. Made the chicken alfredo, which is good, right? Mm hmm. Kara loved it. Kara loved it. I told everybody she was like pounding it like a crazy person. This pie is definitely good, and you should totally try it. Um, as always, if you could give this video a my isn't working that great. There we go. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.